Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It's day three of our adventure and we have an incredible day planned ahead. We're going to explore the vibrant Chatuchak Market, grab some delicious lunch at Mix Chatuchak Mall, and even take our first ride on the famous BTS Skytrain. We'll also be making a stop at the Big C Supercenter to pick up some souvenirs. But before I start my day, you already know where I'm going. I'm meeting up with my brother and sister-in-law at our favorite breakfast spot, Yummy Thai Food. This place has been our go-to spot since day one, and the food is absolutely amazing. Straight ahead, you'll find the warm and welcoming family who operates this restaurant. In the morning, you have the grandma who takes charge of the kitchen, preparing delicious dishes with love and expertise. But what really stands out is the grandson, who has been our incredible food guide throughout our time here. He knows the menu inside out and has recommended the most amazing dishes that we've enjoyed so far. He also makes a delicious iced coffee. First up, we have a delicious vegan papaya salad packed with fresh ingredients and a kick of spiciness. Now let's talk about this curry veggie fried rice. I have to admit, I'm not typically a big rice eater, but when the waiter recommended this dish, something told me I had to give it a try. And let me tell you, it has completely changed my perspective on rice. And of course, my morning is not complete unless I have my iced coffee. My sister-in-law opted for a tasty omelet while my bro went for a pork with vegetable stir fry. So I just finished eating breakfast. I'm walking back to my hotel. It was pretty good. I ended up spending 160 today. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Leaving it up to my brother. And I guess we'll just figure it out along the way. It's the bus stop. So my hotel is about a five minute walk, which is perfectly fine. I like walking. Along the way, there's a bunch of temples. And as you can see, it's a very residential area in my opinion. Not much people outside. And it's really safe. We've secured a taxi and we're on our way to one of the most vibrant and bustling markets in Bangkok, Chatuchak Market. Originally, we had planned to visit a mall, but the hotel owner recommended that we head straight to Chatuchak Market since today is Sunday, which means that all sections of the market are open. We actually did most of our souvenir shopping yesterday and got some amazing finds, but you know what they say about Chatuchak Market, it's a must visit spot when you're in Bangkok, so we just couldn't resist experiencing the hype ourselves. As we step into Chatuchak Market, one thing you'll notice is the helpful presence of security guards. They're stationed near the entrance handing out pamphlets of the market's map. There's also this massive map of the market displayed for everyone to see. It's a visual guide showing the different zones and sections of the market. One thing I've noticed about Chatuchak Market is how incredibly organized it is. With the detailed layout of the market sections, it's much easier to navigate and locate specific areas. Chatuchak Market is a shopaholic's dream come true. This vibrant marketplace offers a wide range of products and experiences that cater to every taste and interest. Let me give you a glimpse of what you can expect to find here. First and foremost, Chatuchak Market is renowned for its extensive selection of fashion items. Whether you're searching for trendy clothing, unique accessories, or stylish footwear, you'll find an abundance of options to suit your personal style. As you walk through the clothing section, you'll be amazed by the sheer variety and styles on display. One of the best things about shopping for clothing at Chatuchak Market is the affordability. You'll find that the prices here are often much more reasonable compared to high-end boutiques and shopping malls. Another fascinating aspect of Chatuchak Market is the presence of unique, handmade clothing. Some vendors create their own designs and produce limited edition pieces. So if you're looking for something truly special and one of a kind, this is the place to find it.
We've wrapped up exploring the clothing section of the market and now it's time to dive into the world of souvenirs. This is where you can find unique and authentic Thai keepsakes to bring back home or gift to your loved ones. You'll find a wide variety of souvenirs from tote bags to coin pouches to crafted keychains, magnets, anything that you could think of, you'll find. I stumbled upon this Muay Thai apparel stall and it instantly reminded me of my sister. Jay, if you're watching this, I know how much you love Muay Thai and I couldn't help but think of you when I saw this stall. Chatu Chak Market isn't just about shopping, it's a whole experience in itself. Apart from the countless stalls selling a variety of items, there's so much more to explore and indulge in. After exploring Chatsuchak Market for a few hours, we built up an appetite and needed a break from the crowds. So we decided to cool off and head to Mix Chatsuchak Mall, which is conveniently located just a short distance away. We finally reach Mix Chatsuchak Mall, and as soon as we step inside, we notice that the items are similar to what we encountered at Chatsuchak Market. It's as if we've entered an extension of the market, but with the added advantage of being able to shop in comfort and escape the scorching heat outside. As we venture further into the mall, there are racks upon racks showcasing a wide variety of styles. What's even more impressive is the affordability. The prices are incredibly budget friendly with prices ranging from 100 to 200 baht. Among the popular snacks for tourists, milk candies are a hit. While they're priced at 120 baht at Chatsuchak Market, we're on our way to Big C Supercenter where we can snag them for just 65 baht. Despite all of the great deals, our main mission at the mall was to indulge in the diverse food options available at the food court. One thing to note is that some food outlets in mixed Chatsuchak Mall require a cash card for payment. It's a convenient system where you load money onto the card and use it to make your purchases. Getting a cash card is quick and easy. All you have to do is visit the designated station, load the card to the desired amount, and you're all set. I found this stall that offers vegetarian options. I had my mind set on ordering pad thai, but the cashier suggested that I try pineapple fried rice. So I decided to switch things up and ordered that instead. To complete my meal, I stopped by a milk tea stall that had all their drinks priced at an affordable 29 baht. There was a wide variety of options, but I decided to keep it classic and ordered a refreshing Thai iced coffee. So I got Thai pineapple fried rice, vegan, no egg, no meat, just tofu. Yeah, Thai with shrimp, and then Tom Yum Mama with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Got some Thai coffee right there for 29 baht. This is my lunch. Now it's time to move on to our next destination, the Big C Supercenter. We're on a mission to purchase those My Chewy Milk candies as souvenirs to bring back home. To get there, we'll be taking the BTS SkyTrain for the first time. But first, we need to make our way to Mochit Station, which is just a five minute short walk from the market. We've reached the BTS SkyTrain station and now it's time to purchase our fare cards for the ride. Each passenger needs their own card, so we can't share. I already bought my BTS SkyTrain card on Kluke, but my brother and sister-in-law still need to get theirs. There are two options to get the cards. You can either go to the ticket booth and purchase a card directly from the staff, or you can use the ticket machine to choose your departure and arrival stations. The machine will calculate the fare price and once you make the payment, it will dispense your card. 
Remember, it's crucial not to lose the card as it's required to enter and exit the turnstiles. Taking the BTS SkyTrain may seem daunting to some, but it's actually an efficient way to navigate the city, especially during rush hours. Not only that, but it's also a cost-effective option. Our fare for this journey cost us 45 baht each, but keep in mind that the fare may vary depending on your destination. Stepping onto the BTS SkyTrain instantly brought back memories of riding the MTA trains in New York City. However, there's a striking difference that I couldn't help but appreciate. The Skytrains here in Bangkok are incredibly clean and well-maintained. Another notable difference is the air conditioning. It's set to full blast, providing a cool and pleasant ride, especially on hot and humid days like today. It's a big relief and adds to the overall comfort of the ride. Where are we, bro? Uh, What's the name of it? Chitlong. <laughs> <laughs> One fascinating safety feature that caught my attention were the platform screen doors. These doors automatically open and close as the train arrives and departs, creating a barrier between the platform and the tracks. Remember that card we used to enter the turnstile? Well, now it's time to use it again to exit. Just like before, we need to tap or feed the card into the turnstile in order to exit the train station. Once we exited the station, we opted to take the skywalk towards Central World, which was conveniently located just a short five minute walk away. Walking along the skywalk not only saved us time, but it also offered a convenient and elevated pathway. As we made our way through the skywalk, we enjoyed the bird's eye view of the city and the lively streets below. It was a pleasant and hassle-free way to reach our destination. We noticed the Apple store situated to the right. It's hard to miss with its sleek and modern design spanning across two floors. As we made our way through the various sections of the mall, one place caught my eye, Shake Shack. It's one of my favorite places to eat and their Shake Shack Shroom Burger holds a special place on my list of top five veggie burgers. Right across from the mall is the Big C Super Center. Since it was raining outside, the mall set up a makeshift tunnel which connected the entrance of the Central World to the Skywalk. We finally arrived at the Big C Super Center, a popular shopping destination for both locals and tourists. This massive retail center offers an extensive range of products from groceries to electronics, clothing to household items. However, one particular section catches the attention of many visitors, the snacks and food aisle. Tourists flock to Big C Super Center to purchase local snacks and food items to bring back to their countries. And one item that has caught our attention is the My Chewy Milk Candy. These treats are a must try and Big C offers them at a great price of just 65 baht per bag compared to the 120 baht price tag at Chaduchak Market. Being a Sunday evening around 5 p.m. it was incredibly busy and navigating through the aisles became quite a challenge. The sheer number of people made it difficult to move around freely and browse through the various sections. If you prefer a more relaxed shopping experience, I would recommend visiting Big C Supercenter during the mornings or on weekdays when the crowds are usually smaller. 
It can be overwhelming during peak hours and weekends. Big C can be quite overwhelming with its vast selection, but when it comes to choosing snacks to bring back, you can't go wrong with the popular choices, like the My Chewy Milk Candies, Bento Squid Snack, and of course, any of the mango and durian treats. It's been an eventful day and now it's time to head back to our hotel to relax before our next adventure. Thanks for joining me on this incredible Bangkok adventure. Stay tuned for part two of this vlog series, where we'll be diving into the enchanting Chinatown of Bangkok at night. Get ready to wander through the lively streets, soak up the vibrant lights, and indulge in the mouth-watering street food that Chinatown has to offer. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next vlog.